Hello everyone! You'd be surprised to learn how much new content appears on the internet in just 24 hours. 500 million tweets are posted every day, while Facebook generates 4 petabytes of data, not to mention news, videos and entertainment content. We live in an information world, which means that we all consume a lot more information than our ancestors. Ah! And of course you'd think that after thousands of hours online, you'd have seen it all. But believe us, there are still things that will surprise you. Today we're going to show you some of them. Let's get it on. Naked Chimp Unfortunately, we weren't able to find out what actually happened to this chimp, making him lose all of his hair. But it's well known that chimpanzees kept in captivity may suffer from alopecia. Partial or total hair loss is common among these animals, and several incidents have already been reported. But why does this happen? Scientists are still trying to figure out the exact reasons, but according to some theories, hair loss in chimpanzees can be associated with severe stress or psychological trauma, just like in humans. And being kept in a confined space for a long time, no matter how good the conditions are, can certainly lead to stress. In addition, there has long been an abnormal pattern among primates, and veterinarians are still trying to explain this phenomenon. Sometimes chimpanzees don't just pick through each other's hair, but pull it right out. It's really weird to look at hairless primates. We're just a couple of genetic steps away from them, and without their hair, their resemblance to humans is just frightening. Shark Stomach if you're watching this video while eating, we'd advise you to put your food away for a bit. It's definitely not for the faint-hearted. So, anyway, did you know that there's a phenomenon in nature known as gastric aversion? It occurs in a very limited number of animals, including some sharks. Basically, it means that the stomach can move around the animal's body painlessly, and even fall out if necessary, and then it gets back into the body as if nothing had happened. But why would sharks need such a skill. As a rule, it's used by predators in situations of extreme stress or to get rid of excess food if necessary. Sharks don't know how to vomit, and sadly, they tend to overeat. Therefore, when they need to get rid of some food, including poorly digestible parts, the stomach is just thrown out and cleans naturally. This reaction can be caused, for example, by the presence of turtle shells, bones, or feathers in the stomach. In general, it's a perfectly safe natural mechanism that brings relief to sharks. Sharks. But sometimes when the stomach is spat out due to stress, it is difficult for sharks to get it back on their own. Whistle the language we are so used to communicating through words that we don't even think about the possible existence of other means of communication. Well, except for sign language, of course. But some people use whistled languages to communicate from afar. These languages are used in different parts of the world. The Canary Islands, Ghana, Central and South America. But in almost all of these places, this language is on the verge of extinction. Another place on the planet where whistled languages is used is the Turkish mountain village of Kuskoy. Scientists learned about the existence of this language back in the 60s. Back then, almost everyone in the village of Kuskoy could speak it. Today, only half the population knows the language, because portable means of communication have solved the problem of talking to people from a distance. The inhabitants of the village of Kuskoy refer to their tongue as bird language, and tell the legend that it's been passed on from parents to children for many centuries. Some historians believe that it was invented by mountaineers during military clashes. Others say that this whistled language was brought here by Spanish immigrants during the Inquisition. But most likely, this unusual language was invented by local shepherds. They needed to communicate before telephones were invented, in an area with complex mountainous terrain. By the way, here's another interesting fact. Scientists are very interested in whistled languages, and they've conducted research. It turned out that speaking bird language activates both hemispheres of the human brain, while ordinary language only makes the left hemisphere work. This is because the right hemisphere is related with processing melodies and sound frequencies. Bar on a lake are you absolutely sure that nothing on the bar list can surprise you anymore? Because every place has the same drinks, right? Uh-oh. 
Well, this shot is likely to make you change your mind. And it comes with a bonus, a live fish. And you need to drink it in one gulp. How do you like that? This amazing idea belongs to Josie Norgren from Minnesota. She's been dreaming of opening her own bar for years, and some time ago, she finally did. The place was built right in the middle of the frozen lake leader. Of course, it's not open all year round, but only for two or three weeks in winter when the ice is thick and safe enough. Rockin' 1000 if you've ever been to a live concert, you know how hard it is to adjust the sound. Sound checks can take forever. You have to stop. The drum kit sounds wrong, the bass sounds louder than all the other guitars, the instruments drown out the vocals. In short, it's very difficult to adjust the sound, even for a four-person band. Now imagine there are 200 bands playing the same song at the same time. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not at all. This band already exists. The originator of the idea, Fabio Zaffagnini from Italy, gathers musicians from all over the world in his home country to play famous rock songs together. In this video, for example, you can see 400 guitarists, 300 bass players, 250 drummers, and 350 vocalists performing together. Zaffagnini considers the participants of his event members of a real rock band. They come to Italy from more than 30 countries to perform. Things made of fish Designer Joel Isaac grew up in an Indian tribe in Alaska, where he was taught to live connected to nature since childhood. Of course, nowadays people usually don't go hunting or fishing to get food, but for some it's still part of their culture. Although now Joel goes fishing not only because he likes fish, but because he needs its skin. Turns out that you can make a lot of household items and even clothes out of this material. The designer, for example, uses salmon skin to make masks, shoes, dresses, and even most motorcycle jackets. He catches, guts, and eats the fish, just like his ancestors did decades ago. Floating Schools Every year, more than one-fifth of Bangladesh's territory suffers from devastating floods. When the water washes out the already bad roads, life in many settlements stops and kids just can't go to school. Local entrepreneur Mohammed Razwan decided to find a solution. In his own words, if the students can't come to the school, then the school should come to them. That's when he had the idea to build a floating school. In fact, it's a system of boats that are both school buses and classrooms. It's open to students aged 6 to 10. Inside the unusual boats are computers powered by solar energy from the roof panels, hundreds of books, and blackboards. Some boats even have playrooms with slides, bars, and swings. By the way, in the evening, the boasts host classes for adults. For example, they learn how to protect their crops in case of a sharp rise in water levels in the region. Just brilliant, isn't it? Mountain Post Turns out there are incredibly original post offices in the world. For example, there's one located in the high mountain village of Hikim, right in the middle of the Himalayas, at an altitude of almost four and a half thousand meters. There's no cell reception or internet, but they can send and receive letters thanks to Rin Chen Chering, who's been working here every day since 1983. At the time, he was considered the most educated man in his village, which consists of about 30 houses. By the way, his time Tasks include more than just correspondence. He also issues passports to the villagers and even keeps their money and jewels in safes. Excel paintings. Let's be honest, no one likes to make spreadsheets in Excel. Well, unless you're an accountant and you love your job. But for most people, understanding formulas and the sophisticated interface of the program is a huge challenge. It turned out that we greatly underestimated this tool. It's not only about boring annual reports. It's hard to believe it, but Japanese Tatsuo Horiuchi uses Excel for his art projects. After retiring 20 years ago, he decided to dedicate his life to art, but he didn't want to spend money on expensive paints and brushes, so he decided to check if it was possible to paint with the programs installed on his computer. He didn't like paint because it seemed too primitive, but he found Excel to be quite appropriate. You can see the result of his idea on the screen. Using simple vector-based tools designed primarily for drawing charts, Horiuchi draws scenes from the Japanese rural life, and at first glance, it's quite hard to believe that they're not made in a graphic editor. Backwards Runner 
When you see a car reversing, you never wonder why, because there's a certain logic to it. But why would a person run backwards? Unless there's a specific exercise in some training, it turns out that there's a person who runs backwards for a very good reason. Aaron Yoda has been running all of his life, but at some point he suffered a serious knee injury. Sadly, he couldn't compete in races or train anymore, but he didn't want to completely rule out running from his life. But what could he do? The answer came unexpectedly. One day, Aaron discovered by chance that when running backwards, his injured knee felt absolutely no tension. Since then, the athlete has completely switched to backwards running, and today he's considered to be the fastest backward runner in the world. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.